Hey guys, it's Josh again, and I am back for another gaming video. Today, we are talking about Last Epoch once again. So the topic of this video is why I believe Last Epoch is a superior game to Diablo 4, especially after the update that we received. So let's waste no time and jump right into this. So first thing that I want to talk about is the new player experience for someone who is new to the genre as a whole. So someone who's pretty unfamiliar with ARPGs, games like Diablo, games of Last Epoch, Path of Exile, stuff like that. Honestly, both of these games are great for that. I think both of these games offer a great beginner experience to the genre and it is accessible in most ways. Now, this transitions pretty well to my second point. So, like I just referred to, that first time experience is great for both of these games. But one thing that I noticed just for me is that whenever I try to pick up Diablo 4 and do a new character and try out a new class, exploring the map again and trying to go through the story again is just so not enjoyable. And I really did enjoy it the first time, but something about the replayability for me has not been clicking for Diablo 4. Now on the flip side with Last Epoch, that has not been a problem that I have ran into at all. I have been having a blast with starting new characters and trying different classes and trying different builds. And it has been an absolute blast. And like I referred to in my first point, it has been extremely accessible. I feel like I've been having no problem switching from class to class and I have done no research on this game. I am so happy to say that. I have not had to Google build guides. I have not had to Google how to get over anything. Like I have truly been able to just explore this game and delve into it and experience my own unique experience. So I am extremely grateful for that. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is the skills themselves. I don't even wanna talk about the classes as much as I wanna talk about just the skills because the skill difference and even in both of these games are pretty drastic. So let's get into that. When it comes to Diablo 4, I do feel like they've done a great job at simplifying the skill tree and it's pretty evident that most classes have a few different build variations that you can go through. And a lot of them are pretty fun to play, but Last Epoch, personally for me, feels like they have kind of revolutionized this genre. I feel like I keep hitting these points in this game where I unlock a new skill and I genuinely smile because I say out loud, like, this is awesome. Here's an example. So I just started a Beastmaster build, which is, which is almost like a druid in Diablo, right? And I've been having a pretty good time with it. I've been using um, a build that's mainly focusing on summoning wolves and laying down totems that kind of helped me. I was randomly playing the other day and I unlocked a different summon. And it wasn't wolves, it was a dinosaur. And I once again was reminded just how awesome this game is, how much there is to explore, how much each individual character class holds alone let alone the entire game. So again, I just keep running into these moments in this game that kind of remind me why I enjoyed this genre so much. And it's just that feeling of progression and kind of feeling like your character is really getting strong as you unlock cool things, but it's not too hard to obtain and it's also not being kind of force fed to you. It's a balance. And I do feel like Last Epoch has done a great job of that. The last thing that I want to say about Last Epoch is once again my own personal opinion, but I really feel like this game was made by people who actually play this genre. And what I mean by that is there are things in this game that are such like a love letter to hardcore fans, where this game has a built-in loot filter, where other games will have to get mods for that. This game allows you to just enable a skill and then have a whole skill tree for it, but then completely change your mind and do a different one and really just refund your skills and try new things all the time. Again, it just feels like this was made by people who really understand the audience that they're trying to target, where I think that's a huge problem we're seeing with Blizzard and Diablo is that they are just not clicking with their target audience. They will market an update and the fans will give it a shot and just no one will be happy. And it seems like they just keep doing that time and time again. 
and you're not really gonna do any right if you blame the fans for that. So it's totally kind of up to Blizzard itself to make a change. So that is all I'm gonna talk about for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I would really appreciate it if you guys do support me growing this channel by liking and subscribing. Peace.